So there are five classes of antelminthic available for the treatment of stomach worms in sheep. You've got the three older classes, the benzamidazole, levamazole and macrocyclic lactones, and they're commonly used. And you've got two newer products that have come out in the, in the last six or seven years. They're prescription only medicines and aren't, um, they're not very commonly used. So in 2013, the Department of Agriculture started a sheep technology adoption program. Um, and this was to encourage the adoption of best management practices on Irish sheep farms. And one of the technical tasks that the farmers could do was a drench test. So this was checking how effective their antelminthic treatment was by measuring worm egg count before treatment and after treatment. And if the treatment's effective, you would expect there to be no eggs remaining after treatment. So um, we got about 4,000 um, drench tests were carried out as part of this technology adoption program. And overall, only 51% um, of treat lamb treatments were effective. So there was a large number of treatments that weren't effective. And the treatment efficacy differed for the different drug classes. So the benzamidazole was the least effective, only effective in 31% of cases. The levamazole was effective in 52% of cases and the macrocyclic lactones in 69% of cases. So this was an indication really of the level of antelminthic treatment failure on Irish sheep farms and was an indication that there is antelminthic resistance on sheep farms. All of the antelminthics were effective against nematodirus. So resistance was most commonly found in the benzamidazole ant antelminthics followed by the levamazoles and the macrocyclic lactones. And this is most likely a reflection of how old the products are. So the benzamidazoles were the first broad spectrum ant antelminthics on the market, followed by the levamazoles and subsequently in the 80s, the macrocyclic lactones. So we subsequently went out onto farms that had suspected um, ivermectin, macrocyclic lactone resistance, and we tested four farms with suspected resistance, and we found two farms that uh, clearly had ivermectin resistance, and this resistance was in Teledorsagia, which is the brown stomach worm. We then tested those um, worms to see if they were just resistant to ivermectin or if they were multidrug resistant. And what we found was that in both cases, the worms were multidrug resistant. So they were resistant to the benzamidazoles, levamazoles and macrocyclic lactones classes of antelminthic. So they're the three commonly used and easily available classes of antelminthic on Irish sheep farms. So the take home messages are that uh, there is antelminthic resistance on sheep farms in Ireland. Um, that it's very, very important that farmers are aware of what products are effective on their farms. It's also very, very important that they're aware that antelminthic resistance is out there and that they have good biosecurity measures in place to prevent the importation of antelminthic resistant worms onto their holdings.